China's Tianzhou 7 mission has ended in a spectacular finale, burning up in Earth's atmosphere after completing its critical role in resupplying the Tiangong space station. This milestone highlights China's growing dominance in space logistics and its commitment to sustaining human presence in orbit. From delivering essential supplies to deploying the Baiyai 08 CubeSat and executing a flawless controlled deorbit, Tianzhou 7 showcases innovation at its finest. In this video, we'll take you through the mission's remarkable journey, its groundbreaking contributions to science and technology, and why it marks a pivotal moment in the future of space exploration. The Tianzhou 7 spacecraft, which recently burned up in Earth's atmosphere to end its cargo mission, stands as a testament to China's rapidly advancing capabilities in space logistics and long-term orbital operations. Launched on January 17, 2024, from the Wenchang Satellite Launch Center aboard a Long March 7th rocket, Tianzhou 7 was a vital component in maintaining the seamless functioning of the Tiangong space station. This resupply mission was meticulously planned to support not just the station's routine operations, but also its growing scientific output. Within hours of its launch, Tianzhou 7 docked with Tiangong, marking the beginning of a mission crucial for sustaining the astronauts on board and enabling their research. The cargo it carried was diverse and strategically planned. Among the supplies were 2.4 tons of provisions for the crew, including fresh fruits, vegetables, and personal items to celebrate the incoming Year of the Dragon. This demonstrated China's attention to both the physiological and psychological well-being of its astronauts a critical factor in maintaining productivity during extended missions. However, the mission's impact extended far beyond basic resupply. Tianzhou 7 delivered advanced scientific equipment designed to leverage the unique microgravity environment of the space station. These included cell life support devices and microfluidic chips, which enabled experiments in biophysics and fluid dynamics key areas of research with implications for long-term space habitation. By conducting these experiments aboard Tiangong, scientists aim to unravel mysteries about biological processes and material behaviors that cannot be studied on Earth. Another critical aspect of Tianzhou 7's mission was its role in maintaining the station's operational integrity. It carried and transferred propellant necessary for Tiangong to sustain its orbit and orientation. This logistical capability is crucial for ensuring that the station remains safe and functional amidst the challenges of space, such as orbital decay and debris, avoidance maneuvers. In essence, Tianzhou 7 exemplified a multifaceted approach to space station operations. It wasn't just about keeping astronauts fed and comfortable, it was a mission that embodied scientific ambition, engineering precision, and a forward-looking strategy to sustain and expand China's capabilities in space. After completing its primary mission, Tianzhou 7 transitioned to its final task, a controlled deorbit and re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. This carefully orchestrated process reflects China's growing emphasis on responsible space operations and its adherence to international norms concerning orbital debris management. On November 10, 2024, Tianzhou 7 undocked from the Tiangong space station. By this stage, the spacecraft was no longer carrying essential supplies but had been repurposed to store waste generated aboard the station during its months of operation. This underscores the dual functionality of such missions. Not only do they deliver critical cargo, but they also manage waste disposal, maintaining a clean and sustainable environment within the station. The controlled deorbit began on November 17, 2024, at approximately 8.25 a.m. est. Tianzhou 7 fired its engines to slow its velocity and exit its orbit, directing its descent into Earth's atmosphere. As expected, most of the spacecraft disintegrated during re-entry due to the intense heat and friction generated at such high speeds. Dark reminder of the incredible forces at play during re-entry. The deorbiting was likely targeted over the South Pacific Ocean, an area commonly known as the spacecraft cemetery this remote expanse is intentionally chosen for its low human population density, minimizing any potential risks associated with debris that survives re-entry. China's decision to deorbit Tianzhou 7 in this manner reflects its commitment to preventing the accumulation of space debris, which has become a growing concern for the global space community. 
Furthermore, the precision required to execute a controlled deorbit is no small feat. It involves meticulous planning and calculations to ensure that the spacecraft follows a specific trajectory. This capability demonstrates China's technical prowess in space engineering and operations. While Tianzhou 7's primary mission focused on resupply and deorbiting, it also left a lasting legacy through a remarkable secondary task the deployment of a CubeSat named Bayez 08. This occurred just one day before the spacecraft's re entry, on November 16, 2024, adding a significant scientific milestone to its mission profile. The Bayez 08 satellite is a 6U CubeSat equipped with advanced instruments, including a medium resolution Earth observation camera and an optical communication payload. These technologies are designed to facilitate audio and video downlink, expanding our capabilities for real-time data transmission from space. The satellite's mission is rooted in promoting popular science, aiming to inspire interest in space exploration and technology among the public while contributing valuable Earth observation data. This deployment demonstrates China's commitment to maximizing the utility of its missions. By integrating the release of a satellite into Tianzhou 7's life cycle, the mission added another layer of scientific value without requiring a dedicated launch. This efficiency highlights a broader trend in space exploration leveraging every opportunity to advance multiple objectives within a single mission framework. In parallel with this achievement, Tianzhou 7 marked the transition to its successor mission, Tianzhou 8, which launched on November 15, 2024. Tianzhou 8 delivered not only essential supplies for the ongoing Shenzhou 19 crew, but also provisions for the upcoming Shenzhou 20 mission, scheduled for spring 2025. Among its cargo were experimental materials like bricks made from lunar soil simulant, a groundbreaking effort that ties China's space station program to its broader lunar exploration ambitions. The inclusion of lunar soil simulant bricks aboard Tiangong underscores China's integrated approach to space exploration. By conducting experiments related to lunar construction in the controlled environment of the space station, China is laying the groundwork for future missions that could involve building habitats on the moon. This forward-thinking strategy positions China as a leader in addressing the challenges of deep space exploration and off-world habitation. The Tianzhou 7 spacecraft, which burned up in Earth's atmosphere to end its cargo mission, marks a significant milestone in China's journey toward becoming a global leader in space exploration. From resupplying the Tiangong space station with essential provisions, scientific equipment and fuel, to deploying the Bayez 08 CubeSat and completing a controlled deorbit, the mission showcased China's expertise in space logistics and responsible orbital practices. Tianzhou 7's legacy lies in its contributions to sustaining long-term human presence in space and advancing cutting-edge research in microgravity. It also set the stage for future innovations, like integrating space station operations with lunar exploration goals, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.